Because Gmail is web-based, there are not that many changes you can make to the layout of Gmail. It's pretty much going to look like this. However, there are a few changes and customizations you can make. One of those is you can decide how many messages to display on the first page of your inbox. I'm currently displaying just 25 messages. So if I want to see the next 25, I have to click this button to go to older messages and then click it again to see even older messages. If you'd like, you can have more than 25 messages appear in your inbox. Click the gear and mail settings in the mail settings area. Right here under maximum page size, I can increase this to 100 or limit it to 10. You can't show more than 100 and that's for load time so that your inbox loads quickly. I think I'm gonna keep mine at 25. You can also decide how many contacts to show per page. We'll talk about that more when we look at Gmail contacts. Another customization you can make to the layout is to display your chat messages on the right hand side. So by default, if I click on chat, my chat list appears here on the left hand side. I can move it up or down by dragging it up and down. I can hide the chat list by clicking on the chat button and hiding it, or I can display it again. If I want it to appear on the right hand side, that's actually a lab. So labs are add on features of Gmail. So the Gmail engineers create these labs based on feature requests. You can turn a lab on or off. Labs are somewhat experimental. So it's possible that a lab you're using may go away or may not work as efficiently as some of the built in features of Gmail. However, I find that the right side chat is pretty easy to use and doesn't seem to have any issues. So if I click on the gear, I'll go to labs. If you don't see this labs option and you're using Google Apps, it may be that your Google Apps administrator has disabled labs. To find the lab I'm looking for, I'll choose search for a lab and I know it has the word right in it, so I search for right. Here it is, right side chat. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. So every lab, you'll see the name of the lab, who created it, and a description. I'm gonna save changes, and my chat list is now going to appear on the right-hand side. So there's my chat list on the right-hand side. Now this does limit the amount of space I have on my screen, so if you're using a smaller monitor or smaller resolution, you may not want to put chat on the right-hand side. So those are the changes you can make to the Gmail layout, just how many messages appear and where the chat is located. You can also change your theme or sort of the colors and look of Gmail. I like using themes because I have multiple Gmail accounts. So I'll use a different theme for each account. That way I can quickly look at the screen and know, oh, I'm in my work account or I'm in my personal account. To change the theme, I select options, mail settings, here we are again in the settings, and then I select the themes tab. Again, if you don't have this themes tab, it means that your Google Apps administrator has disabled themes. So light, this is the default theme. I can select one of these other colored themes. Let's take a look at mustard. And the theme will change to mustard, so this is more of a yellow look, or I could do sea foam. This is a nice color. If I want to keep this theme, I just click out back into my inbox and that theme stays. The other types of themes, if I go back into mail settings and themes, I can choose one of these high def themes like ocean, for example. This asterisk here means that the theme will change based on the weather and time of day in your location. So I set my location as Berkeley, California. You can change that by selecting change. And so it's a pretty nice sunny day here in Berkeley and that's why we've got clear skies here. And then there are some classic themes. Gmail recently had an interface update and added the new themes. These are some of the more classic cartoon-like themes. This is a fun one, Tea House. 
I think that for this course, I'm just going to use the classic theme because I think some of these other high definition themes can be a bit distracting. So I'm gonna go back just to this light colored theme. So those are some of the changes you can make to your Gmail layout and look.